Hey everyone, it's Andy from Electric Petrolhead. Now when it comes to deciding which electric car to buy, fundamentally the, the dilemma is exactly the same as it would be with a petrol or diesel car. It comes down to a lot of personal preferences. So I don't really think I should sit here and lecture you on why you should buy the i3 or why you should buy a Tesla. Because I've done that in other videos anyway, so you can go and see this. So what is the number one sort of consideration you should or look at and fundamentally it's going to be range because if you do 100 miles each way on a commute then one I feel a bit sorry for you there's a lot of time every single day sat in a car probably in traffic so if that is your commute then you need to be looking into a 200 plus mile car and they exist there's plenty of them out there just got to choose carefully um, but if you are like most people the average mileage someone does in the uk is about 25 miles a day so every single electric car is going to be fine for you so it's beautiful it just comes down to personal preference so you know i plug them a lot i don't get paid for these plugs but evec and milton Keynes is a really good initiative you can take out some electric cars on a um a you know 20 minute four day or seven day i think they do uh higher is what we did with the i3 and um get to really experience them and see what you like because so much of it comes down to personal preference um you know i'm a massive fan of the model s but it's a tank it's a big old car for uk roads for uk car parking spaces to the point that if we had a choice we often take the i3 just because it's tiny and it fits everywhere and it's got the range we need it's got storage um it's actually better for dogs than a model 3 as i did in another video because you just chop them no, chop them chuck them in the boot um with the parcel shelf off and they're fine so yeah a bit of a quick video this this is just to get those um creative juices flowing and have a think about what you want from a car um they a lot of them drive differently they pretty much all have that instant talk which is really great on the road so you can have a lot of fun with all these cars but yeah get behind the wheel just drive them just experience them and um yeah you probably want one there's very few people i know who have driven an ev and ended up not buying one um or at least really wanting one and then it's um obviously more personal things like finances and um everything else you got to consider so yeah just go and drive them anyway have a lovely day and email me if you have any questions always happy to help and like and subscribe and all that fun see you later bye